America changed. That's what we're told. On September 11th, everything changed. If you're not American, you can't understand. The infantile psychobabble of popular culture is grafted opportunistically onto America's politics. The language of childish entitlement becomes a lethal rhetoric of global wealth and privilege. Asked how you are as president on the first day of a war that would kill up to 100,000 people. I feel good. I was in Saks Fifth Avenue the morning they bombed Baghdad. Isn't it wonderful, says the saleswoman. At last, we're hitting back. Yes, I reply. At the wrong people. Somebody steals your handbag so you kill their second cousin on the grounds that you live close. Explain to me, I say. Saudi Arabia is financing Al-Qaeda, Iran, Lebanon, and Syria are known to shelter terrorists. North Korea is developing a nuclear weapons program. All these you leave alone. No, you go to war with the one place in the region admitted to have no connection with terrorism. You're not American, says the saleswoman. You don't understand. Oh, a question then. If you're not American, you don't understand is the new dispensation, then why not you're not Chechen? Are the Chechens also now licensed? Are theatres, restaurants, public squares? Do Israeli milk bars filled with women and children become fair game on the grounds that you don't understand? We're Palestinian, we're Chechen, we're Irish, we're Basque. If the principle of international conduct is to be that you may go against anyone you like on the grounds that you've been hurt by somebody else, does that apply to everyone? Or just to America? On September 11th, America changed, yes. It got much stupider. 